Is there music that supports Donald Trump? We'll delve into all the rumors and drama surrounding this theory. But make sure to subscribe if you want Trump to lose. It's been shown that each subscription equals one less vote for him. Recently, former President Donald Trump targeted prominent celebrities Beyonce, Jay-Z and Bruce Springsteen during a rally in Minneapolis, Minnesota igniting outrage among their fans and causing a social media frenzy. Boasting about his 2016 election victory, Trump mocked the trio in his speech, saying in Jay-Z, Little Bruce Springsteen didn't need me he further ridiculed Springsteen, claiming the rock musician would only perform a few songs at Clinton rallies before leaving, causing the crowd to diminish and leaving Hillary Clinton to speak to a smaller audience. Trump's remarks quickly went viral, especially among fans of Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Bruce Springsteen. Beyonce's devoted fan base, known as the Bayhive, voiced their displeasure on Twitter. One tweet encapsulated the general sentiment that's it. Trump has gone too far. Mocking Beyonce and Springsteen? It's on. Bruce Springsteen, a vocal critic of Trump, likely found amusement in these remarks. In a previous interview with Esquire, Springsteen expressed his strong disapproval of Trump, saying, Trump has no interest in uniting the country. In fact, he has an interest in doing the opposite and dividing us. Which he does almost daily Springsteen's disdain for Trump divisive tactics has been consistent, reflecting a broader sentiment among many celebrities who have faced criticism from Trump. During a rally in Aoka, Pennsylvania, Trump also lashed out at several high-profile entertainers who have supported Democratic candidates. He specifically targeted Lady Gaga and John Bon Jovi for their endorsements of Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton. Mocking Lady Gaga, Trump said, Now he's got Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga insinuating that her support for Biden was misguided. Turning his attention to John Bon Jovi, Trump accused the musician of exploiting his fame for personal gain. He disparaged Bon Jovi character, saying he kisses my ass every time he sees me. Yes, Mr. President. This comment aimed to undermine Bon Jovi credibility and suggests that his public persona was insincere. Such attacks on celebrities by Trump are not new. His rhetoric often targets public figures who oppose him, framing their political endorsements as opportunistic rather than genuine. This behavior underscores Trump's broader strategy of discrediting his critics through personal attacks, a hallmark of his political style. Beyonce and Jay-Z have been active in the political arena, particularly during the 2016 election when they prominently supported Hillary Clinton. Jay-Z's sharp critique of Donald Trump, labeling him a super bug, simplifies the fraught relationship between Trump and various figures in the entertainment industry. Trump has a documented history of clashes with celebrities, often using their public endorsements and statements against against him as fodder for his own rhetorical attacks. Trump specifically criticized Beyonce and Jay-Z for their use of explicit language during campaign events for Hillary Clinton. He argued that their use of the F-word alienated voters and demonstrated a lack of decorum. This criticism was part of Trump's broader strategy to portray himself as a defender of traditional values and to undermine the credibility of his celebrity critics. In 2018, controversy arose when Trump team broke a promise to stop using Prince music at campaign events. Despite a legal agreement, Purple Rain was played at a rally in Minneapolis, prompting a stern reminder from Prince's estate that they did not approve of the use of his songs. This incident added to the ongoing tension between Trump and the entertainment industry, highlighting the cultural clash between his administration and the artistic community. Trump's recent comments reflect a deepening political and cultural divide. His disdain for celebrities who do not support him underscores his contentious relationship with the entertainment world. In a new development, Beyonce's recent foray into the country music genre has sparked conspiracy theories among Trump loyalists. They suspect that her move is a strategic attempt to win over conservative country music fans, further illustrating the polarized environment and the extent to which Trump supporters scrutinize the actions of his celebrity critics. Following his comments at the Minneapolis rally disparaging Beyonce, Jay-Z and Bruce Springsteen, Donald Trump's ongoing feud with prominent celebrities has intensified. This cultural conflict is expected to persist as the 2024 election approaches, highlighting the profound divisions within American society. Trump's sharp criticism of these influential musicians highlights the broader tension between his administration and the entertainment industry. His remarks at the rally reflect his strategy of targeting high-profile critics to galvanize his base and portray himself as a counter to the liberal elite. As the election nears, these cultural clashes are likely to become more pronounced, 
illustrating the deepening divide in American politics and culture. In a surprising twist, various internet platforms are buzzing with images and videos suggesting that Lady Gaga has endorsed Trump. These posts have caused a stir and raised questions about their authenticity. Given Lady Gaga previous support for Democratic candidates, these claims seem dubious. This video will delve into the truth behind these widely shared posts, examining the history of the conflict between Trump and Lady Gaga. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest news in entertainment and politics. In one notable incident, a video purportedly showing Lady Gaga expressing support for Trump has been circulating widely. However, a closer analysis reveals that the video is heavily edited and taken out of context. Lady Gaga has been an outspoken critic of Trump and has consistently supported progressive causes, making the claims of her endorsement highly unlikely. The broader context of this situation involves Trump attempts to undermine the credibility of celebrities who oppose him. By fostering misinformation and exploiting the influence of social media, Trump supporters aim to create confusion and sow distrust among voters. This tactic highlights the increasingly complex and contentious nature of modern political discourse. As the 2024 election draws nearer, expect these cultural and political skirmishes to become even more heated. The clash between Trump camp and the entertainment industry serves as a microcosm of the larger battle for America cultural and political future. There aren't many people as vocal and influential as Lady Gaga. Known for her powerful voice both on and off the stage, Lady Gaga has been an outspoken opponent of former President Donald Trump and an ardent supporter of democratic ideals. The escalating 2024 election season has brought tensions between Gaga and Trump back to the fore, particularly in light of viral posts purporting to show her backing the politician. This piece examines Gaga past political participation, her steadfast support of Joe Biden, Trump reactions, and the larger ramifications of celebrity involvement in politics. A peak in Lady Gaga political involvement occurred in the run-up to the 2020 presidential election, just before voters in the United States headed to the polls on November 2, 2020. Gaga delivered an impassioned address at a rally in Pennsylvania, a critical swing state. Her calls for support for Joe Biden were accompanied by overt allusions to Donald Trump past offensive remarks. As she put it, Gaga urged her audience to vote like your life depends on it, or vote like your children's lives depend on it, because they do she went on to denounce Trump infamous remarks from 2005, in which he boasted about how his celebrity allowed him to easily seduce women. Send in your vote for Joe, she pleaded with the assembly, highlighting Biden morality and goodness. The broader context of this situation involves Trump attempts to undermine the credibility of celebrities who oppose him. By fostering misinformation and exploiting the influence of social media, Trump supporters aim to create confusion and sow distrust among voters. This tactic highlights the increasingly complex and contentious nature of modern political discourse. As the 2024 election draws nearer, expect these cultural and political skirmishes to become even more heated. The clash between Trump's camp and the entertainment industry serves as a microcosm of the larger battle for America's cultural and political future. There aren't many people as vocal and influential as Lady Gaga. Known for her powerful voice both on and off the stage, Lady Gaga has been an outspoken opponent of former President Donald Trump and an ardent supporter of democratic ideals. The escalating 2024 election season has brought tensions between Gaga and Trump back to the fore, particularly in light of viral posts purporting to show her backing the politician. This piece examines Gaga past political participation, her steadfast support of Joe Biden, Trump reactions and the larger ramifications of celebrity involvement in politics. A peak in Lady Gaga political involvement occurred in the run-up to the 2020 presidential election, just before voters in the United States headed to the polls on November 2, 2020. Gaga delivered an impassioned address at a rally in Pennsylvania, a critical swing state. Her calls for support for Joe Biden were accompanied by overt allusions to Donald Trump past offensive remarks. As she put it, Gaga urged her audience to vote like your life depends on it, or vote like your children's lives depend on it because they do she went on to denounce Trump infamous remarks from 2005, in which he boasted about how his celebrity allowed him to easily seduce women. Send in your vote for Joe, she pleaded with the assembly, highlighting Biden morality and goodness. Biden and Gaga relationship wasn't brand new. They had previously worked together to combat sexual assault on college campuses with the It's On Us campaign.
Mutual respect and common ideals served as the foundation of their cooperation. When Gaga sang the national anthem during Biden inauguration on January 20, 2021, it strengthened their bond even further.